Did you know that the average person spends nearly 13 years of their life at work? That's right, 13 years. It's a startling statistic, isn't it? It makes one ponder the magnitude of time we invest in our careers and emphasizes the significance of productivity. The more efficient we are, the more we can accomplish and the more rewarding those 13 years can be. So how can we reclaim some of this time? Let's delve into the world of productivity hacks. Productivity guru Francesco Cirillo proposes the Pomodoro Technique. What's that, you might ask? Picture a tomato-shaped kitchen timer. That's right, Pomodoro is Italian for tomato. But this isn't about cooking, it's about productivity. Here's how it works. You set the timer for 25 minutes and focus wholeheartedly on a single task. No distractions, no multitasking, just pure focused work. When the timer rings, you take a five minute break. This is one Pomodoro. After completing four Pomodoros, you take a longer break of 15 to 30 minutes. Sounds simple, right? But the benefits are profound. The Pomodoro technique trains your brain to focus for short periods and helps you keep track of your time. It reduces the impact of interruptions, and most importantly, it prevents burnout. So next time you're feeling overwhelmed, remember, take a break, refresh your mind, and return to work with renewed focus. That's the Pomodoro way. Former US President Dwight Eisenhower once said, what is important is seldom urgent, and what is urgent is seldom important. This piece of wisdom serves as the foundation for the Eisenhower Matrix, a powerful tool for task prioritization. The matrix is divided into four quadrants, urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and neither urgent nor important. By categorizing your tasks into these quadrants, you can gain a clear perspective on what truly requires your attention. Tasks in the urgent and important quadrant need immediate attention. These are your crises and deadlines. On the other hand, tasks that are important but not urgent should be scheduled for later. These might include long-term goals or personal development activities. Tasks that are urgent but not important can often be delegated. And finally, tasks that are neither urgent nor important. Consider eliminating them from your to-do list entirely. Prioritize your tasks effectively, and you'll find more time for what truly matters. Productivity expert David Allen suggests a simple rule. If it takes less than two minutes, do it now. Imagine how many tasks you could tick off your to-do list if you adopted this principle. The two-minute rule is a game-changer in the realm of productivity, transforming the way we approach our tasks and decision-making. It's not about rushing through tasks, but rather about quick wins. The tasks that can be done in two minutes or less are often the easiest to postpone, yet they're also the ones that can quickly pile up, creating unnecessary stress and clutter. By applying the two-minute rule, you're not just checking off tasks. You're cultivating a mindset of action and momentum. It's about seizing the moment to take immediate action on tasks before they snowball into larger, more daunting challenges. So the next time you're faced with a task that can be done swiftly, remember David Allen's advice. Conquer procrastination with the two-minute rule and watch your productivity soar. Cal Newport, a renowned author, recommends time blocking as a game changer for productivity. So, what is time blocking? Imagine your day as a blank canvas and each task you need to accomplish is a colored block. Time blocking is the art of painting your day with these blocks, dedicating specific time slots for each task. It's like making an appointment with yourself to focus on a particular task without any interruptions. This technique encourages you to single task rather than multitask. When you time block, you're committing to focusing on one thing at a time, which can significantly increase your productivity and the quality of your work. Time blocking also helps reduce stress. Instead of constantly worrying about your to-do list, you know exactly when you'll tackle each task. It's a strategy that gives you control over your day rather than letting your day control you. Block your time, own your day, and see your productivity levels rise. Ever heard of the Pareto Principle? It's a productivity goldmine. The Pareto Principle, or the 80-20th rule as it's more commonly known, is a fascinating concept that can significantly enhance your productivity. This rule suggests that a mere 20% of our actions result in roughly 80% of the outcomes. Think about it. In your daily life, you may find that a small proportion of your tasks are actually responsible for the majority of your results. Perhaps it's that key project at work, or a critical habit that shapes your health. 
So how can we leverage this? The trick is to identify and focus on those vital few tasks that deliver the most impact. Prioritizing these tasks can lead to a significant boost in your productivity. In essence, don't spread yourself too thin. Instead, invest your energy and time in those high-value tasks that yield the most significant results. Focus on the 20% that gives you 80% of the results. That's the 80 20 rule for you. Productivity isn't just about doing more, it's about focusing on the right things. How often do we find ourselves swamped with tasks that are not only irrelevant to our goals, but also drain our energy and time? This is where the power of no comes into play. Saying no is not about being uncooperative or difficult. It's about prioritizing your energy and focus. Consider this, every yes you give is a no to something else. When you say yes to a distraction, you're saying no to productivity. When you say yes to an irrelevant task, you're saying no to an opportunity that could propel you towards your goals. The power of no is about setting boundaries, about understanding your limits, and about valuing your time. It's about taking control of your productivity and steering it in the direction you want. So remember, next time you're faced with a choice, weigh up the impact on your productivity. Learn to say no and gain control over your productivity. James Clear, an expert on habit formation, believes that habits are the compound interest of self-improvement. Isn't that fascinating? Picture this. Just as a penny doubled every day for a month can grow to over five million pounds, a small productivity habit practiced consistently can lead to massive improvements over time. Consider the simple act of writing a to-do list every morning. This habit alone can enhance your focus, reduce stress, and make you more efficient. Or think about the habit of reading for just 30 minutes each day. Over a year, that's nearly 200 hours of learning. Remember, habits are not built overnight. They require patience, consistency, and a dash of discipline. But once they are ingrained, they become automatic and yield tremendous results. So think about the habits you want to cultivate. Start small, be consistent, and watch your productivity skyrocket. Build productive habits and you'll build a productive life. Mindfulness isn't just for meditation. It's a powerful productivity tool. When we talk about mindfulness, we're talking about harnessing the power of being present, fully engaged in what you're doing. It's about silencing the noise of distractions and truly focusing on the task at hand. Imagine a workday where you're not juggling a million things at once, but rather immersing yourself in each task, one at a time. This is the essence of mindfulness. It allows us to maximize our productivity by eliminating multitasking, which can often lead to mistakes and half-completed tasks. Furthermore, mindfulness can help reduce stress and increase satisfaction in our work. When we are present and engaged, we are more likely to produce higher quality work and find joy in what we do. So, consider incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine. Start with just five minutes a day and watch as your productivity and satisfaction grow. Be mindful, be present, be productive. Now that you've got these productivity hacks up your sleeve, it's your turn to put them into action. Imagine just by tweaking your usual routine slightly, you could find yourself with more time for your passions, your loved ones, or even just a little extra sleep. Let's start with the Pomodoro technique. Set a timer for 25 minutes and focus on one task. After the timer goes off, take a five minute break. Every fourth break should be longer, around 15 to 20 minutes. Then there's the Eisenhower matrix. This method will help you prioritize your tasks based on their urgency and importance. You'll soon find yourself spending less time on unimportant tasks. Next up is the two minute rule. If a task takes less than two minutes to complete, do it immediately. It's surprising how much you can accomplish in such a short span of time. Time blocking is another effective strategy. Dedicate specific time slots for different tasks or activities throughout your day. This eliminates multitasking and increases focus. The 80-20 rule or the Pareto principle suggests that 80% of your output comes from 20% of your effort. Identify and focus on those high yield activities. And don't forget the power of no. It's okay to decline tasks that don't align with your goals or priorities. Lastly, harness the power of habits and practice mindfulness to boost your productivity. Try these hacks, share your experiences in the comments, and let's embark on this productivity journey together.